Hey guys, uh, this video is a little bit of a uh, demonstration of what you can do if you bounce tracks. And uh, you're going to want to check out my other video about how to bounce tracks within the OP-1. Uh, but this particular video is just kind of a demo of some of the stuff that I put together as a result of trying to learn how to make the video, bouncing tracks, and what's the best way to go about it. Because um, it turns out there's several different ways to, to, to use the bounce feature. Um, but check out that video. They'll tell you more about it. So this, essentially, this video is, uh, um, the sounds you're going to hear, at least in part, are from the How to Make a Track video. I bounced a portion of that track into the sampler and um, started arranging the parts in tape. So let me get started. I'll show you the way some of this goes. And uh, you know, for reference, again, check out that Bounce a Track video. So what you're hearing here is, uh, it's essentially just a, a, a one bar loop of that other track. And the bass line happens to, to loop pretty nice in this way. Um, and all of this sound you're hearing is on one track in the OP-1. So I've added some other stuff. I bounced this little section uh, and some other sections as you'll hear, but then I added some stuff on top of the top. So I'll bounce through some of the sections that came from that original song and then come back to the beginning and show you uh, some of the stuff I added over the top just as a different way to kind of, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like the remixing thing. It's, you can use something from the past, even if it's five minutes ago, to inspire something new. Uh, and within the OP-1 it's very easy to do it. So let's, let's go through these things. So all those three pieces there, those three separate bars that are looping, are pieces of the original track, uh, just different timings. So I'll go back to the uh, the very first one I had in this particular um, demonstration and introduce the other sounds over the top. And all of the added sounds are from synth engines within the OP-1, just in case you're curious. Most of what you hear is just on one track because that is what I lifted and pasted into the synth sampler. Pretty neat concept. Check it out in that other video.
Just to cover the um, the hows of that, uh, the the chord sounds are all from the cluster synth inside the OP1, and the vocals are just uh, me and my lousy voice overdubbed. And um, you know, any one person singing by themselves is uh, you know questionable unless you're a professional vocalist. But uh, if you overdub, you can take those nuances in your crackly, wavy, out of pitch voice and have them play off each other like a chorus and uh, it's um, kind of a cool technique. So um, hope you agree. Anyways, another uh, couple of ideas hopefully for you that you can do here with the OP1 and I thank you for stopping by and checking out another one of my videos.